So has our Lamborghini rev well to arrive? No, is the honest answer. This is Tommy's. Tommy has very kindly brought down his rev welter to the car wow event. So we're here to see it. We're gonna go on a quick drive with Tommy, get his opinion, see what he thinks about the car. Yeah, it's been wrapped in a very nice color. It's green underneath, but we thought that it was the 100,000 pound paint that has been put on it, but uh, the Wrap Sanctuary have done a brilliant job with this car. So it's a very, very nice spec and there's lots of headroom in it as well. So a plus for people like me who are tall. Let me see my paint performance now. Wow, I mean, that's pretty. That got up to 60 mile an hour. <laughs> really <Wow>. fast! <laughs> yeah, it's a very nice place to be in. So Tommy was saying before we did the couple of runs that he was running out of fuel and what are you at now? Seven miles. <laughs> it's seven miles and that's seven miles electric range, not seven miles all round range. Oh, I hope we make it. So when did you actually get this car, Tommy? Uh, I got it on Thursday last week, so it's been about four days now. Right. Uh, I've done 613 miles already. Oh, wow. I just wanted to break the car in properly for the drag race and just so I can enjoy it. All my cars have not high mileage, but I drive all of them. Same with ours. Yeah, the car gets driven. You have to. My yeah. SVJ has 11,000 miles. Oh, that's a similar to ours. <laughs> yeah. I think ours is 11 or 12. <laughs> it's just like, there's no point in having the car if you're not going to drive it. And I got this car no. first. I've wanted this car for so long. It'll be a travesty to just park it up and let it sit on a hundred miles oh yes so i thought let me just give it some beans so I'm, yeah i've enjoyed every every single moment it's an amazing car it's set up differently to uh regular lamborghinis or the old lamborghinis yeah different design language um different architecture the software is different but the driving dynamics are so much better uh, the um steering wheel rack has been shortened in terms of the ratio so right. now it feels a bit more like a fry where you get those snappy turns you don't have to fight everything yeah it feels it yeah and yeah. then if it is a 1700 kg car um dry but when you're driving it doesn't feel like that it feels as if you're driving like a ferrari it just feels super light yeah. agile ready to turn you've got four-wheel steering helping you it's they've done an incredible job i'm actually blown away because i know lamborghini um, historically people have seen them as flash cars and not fast cars yeah. but this is something that i feel will change the game for them where it brings yes. the performance and it still brings the lamborghini like five this car is out of this world yeah, and it yeah, makes yeah. me feel like Every single car that I have or that I've ever had just feels old in comparison to the way it drives, the yeah. way it looks. This just feels like the future of supercars, like they've moved what the goalpost is. And yeah. uh, I think it's awesome. We had a bit of a discussion earlier about whether or not you were still thinking about getting a 918 and you were saying with this, yeah. is there much point really? There isn't much point when you have this, but I have found a 918 that I love. The 918 is a car that I'm like certain it's going to go up in value in the future so it'll be yeah. a, i feel like a mistake not to buy one i've got one it looks good it's been driven not like ten thousand miles but it's been driven put miles on it so i know it's it's been used hasn't just been parked up my main issue was ysac or no ysac ysac pack the premium is so much oh like, yeah is it worth it because you what uh, you're, still, isn't. You're, you're still getting a 918 it's, at the end of the day the 918 that we've got it's not ysac pack but yeah. i don't really think it makes too much of a difference it doesn't i think it drops what like 15 kg or something from the car, add some yeah. fins. The fins look cool, but you can actually do that aftermarket. Oh yeah, you know? well we've got the YSAC wheels on it. So the magnesium uh, wheels are actually on ours. So it yeah. essentially looks like a YSAC yeah. car, yeah. Yeah, and to be fair, the only person that can judge you is another 918 owner, I guess. I'm looking, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting it. I haven't driven one yet, but it looks like a very engaged drive. It looks like that traditional Porsche, just with the flare of like a V8, naturally aspirated V8 behind you. Yes. So um, yeah, I'm interested to see how it, how it is. I've just realised as well, there's so much headroom. Yeah, there's way more than in the, in the SVJ. And the gap is I, I'm happy about that. You sit, you definitely sit lower. Because it's still new, there's still a software update that we're waiting for. Yes. So I'm excited to see what that brings to the car and what that changes. And they're still kind of testing driving dynamics, gearbox software. So these things are going to improve over time. Uh, okay. So yeah, it's exciting. Yeah, so you're like officially a Lamborghini Revolto tester. Yeah, oh, yeah. You know what? Instagram bio, Lamborghini Revolto <laughs> test driver. <laughs> I'm just gonna put this in between your legs. Yeah, uh, normally, uh, I buy people drinks before I put anything <laughs> between their legs, but yeah, yeah. Uh, you're special. Well, how does it compare to the SF90? It feels so much better. Does SF90 it? is cool and everything, but it just, it's like Ferrari were chasing performance that like they sacrificed emotion. Ah, uh, okay. It's like, it's perfect. It's almost like a Turbo S. Yes. But 
you need a bit of the you just need a bit of the silliness to enjoy cars that agreed, agreed. Yeah. This feels so comfortable to yeah. just drive around in whatever. Exactly, look, I'm in I'm in comfort mode now. It's yeah. just so smooth, it feels like a daily. Yeah, you've got good visibility. Somewhat. Exactly. <laughs> somewhat. And I can see behind me better yeah. than I can in the, the SDJ, SDJ. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When, nice even when the wing pops up, they design it in a way that has a gap so you can still see through. Which ah, is that for like aero or something? They'll try and say it was for aero, but it was definitely styling. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. Oh no! <laughs> I can't keep up. No. We've got a race here. <laughs> no! Lose it. <laughs> Let me down. Little Tommy. Yes. Let's have a bit of a send in this. I wasn't. I wasn't in the fastest mode. That's Did that feel fast to you? That felt fast. Because I've been doing it all day, it just felt regular. Now we've pulled up. We'll have a proper look inside before we do the outro because it's very windy outside. So we'll see what spec he went for and see how it compares to the one that we've got coming. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but when you actually open the door... Oh, it's not done it in this one. The seat actually moves back, which is so cool. So, let's hop in. You'll have to ignore the cameras. <laughs> the doors, as we were mentioning, are so heavy. So, so heavy. So I'm not too sure on the spec of these seats. I think these are like comfort seats, maybe or like comfort bucket seats because they are actually very, very soft. As we spoke about before, the headroom, the dash here is in like a sort of red and black leather mix. Our steering wheel, if I remember correctly, is Carbon and Alcantara. The, the, the dials are actually really cool on this. It's nice, it looks very complex. Full carbon, I think, as far as you can go from like the interior carbon spec and then I think you can add the steering wheel like the behind of the steering wheel and carbon but nobody's going to see that if you've got this carbon the paddles carbon and obviously this part of the steering wheel carbon all this is all like in like a dry carbon <laughs> again it's very heavily carbonized you've still got the, the famous lift and then yeah the screen which is we'll have to get this PPF because look at all the fingerprints on it that looks awful <laughs> and dusty. Anything gloss black gets so dusty. But yes, the carbon on this in the interior is very nice. It's very subtle, but it's not too much over the top. It's actually a really nice place to be, to be honest. I think the positioning of the new exhaust is really nice. It kind of suits this style very well. I know a lot of people don't really like them up here. The diffuser's sick with the big fins. I think we went with pinstriping on ours, I think. I'll have to check the spec. It's been a long time since I've looked at the spec of the one that we're going with, and has Tommy got the... Yeah, so this is also gloss black on our one as well. I know that you could option this in carbon fibre, but it doesn't really need it, to be honest. Because you're not going to be looking much at this, you're going to be looking at that there, the V12. The hybrid V12, should I say. But yeah. What do you guys think of the colour of this, by the way? Obviously it's green underneath, but he's had it wrapped. <laughs> starting up which is also one of tommy's hello wamban welcome <laughs> to my channel as well this is like <laughs> channel like inception, inception. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's just, we're gonna break the internet it's just, nothing's gonna work <laughs> but yeah now this car looks amazing um how long have you had it for i've had it for two and a half years two and a half years how many miles i like a man that drives a car so i think i mentioned in the video with tommy just then that we are racing the 918 versus the sf90 and then the rev welter as well what the hell have I just seen in the seat? I'm learning from our good friend, Richie. <laughs> Turning into a Tory boy, just like him. We keep getting delayed because all the Italian pieces of <laughs> keep breaking down. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think is going to happen in this race? Uh, I suspect this car might come last. Because right. the other two have over 100 horse horsepower m uh, more each. They are it's new light, cars. Lightweight, the SF90. We know which Things one would win around the track. Oh yeah, 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 but, definitely. Uh, on a drag race, I think they have higher power. Yeah. New tech, I think they will probably win. Yeah. The rolling race might be a little bit closer, but I don't know. Potentially, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, do you want to actually have a look at the Rev Tour? Should yeah, we go yeah, have yeah. a quick look? This is the first time properly on the roads kind of thing that you're seeing a Rev Tour. Yes, not... it is. Yeah, yeah. I believe that this was actually the first Rev Tour in the country. 
Yes. Uh, first, but yes, because Tommy kept it from what we understand under wraps for a couple of months. And yes, he did. Did you see that they have done a what is it called? A, f a final, 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 final version of the hurricane. Oh, the what, a, is, STJ. 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 Yeah, yes. which uh, is basically a hurricane, but with instead of the oh, it's just the J. It's literally J. So I, I'm sorry. I love you, Lamborghini, but. For Say, what are you doing? Tim and I, because I've been down at the Museum, we were all having a discussion of like, why have they done that? But I, <laughs> So there's been a final edition, which is like the 60th anniversary mm. of the Hurricane. And then they brought out the Storato as like the final, like random Hurricane. And now they've brought out another Hurricane. So this is like the last, last, last V10 Lamborghini. What do you think? Ten, ten units I think it's limited to? Uh, yep, yeah, no interest Not in for it you. at all. No. I didn't think so. It's, it's, SDO. it's just an SEO, yeah. And yeah. even most people think the Perth is the best turret. We went on a convoy because Tommy ran out of fuel. That's why we've been filling up. And so did Tom in the 918. Mm -hmm. I think it's a common, uh, common car uh, collector's issue. With, uh, with, issue. With, uh, <laughs> yeah, when you've got too many cars, there's too many things to focus on. To be honest, I should have really taken, taken charge of that. I've been looking after it for the weekend. So yes, you can, you should, you can blame me for that if yes. you want. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'll take the blame. As per, what do you actually think, like, rates, like, looks? Huh? The looks, looks on, the, on the Rev Auto? Yeah, what do you think of the back? I think the rear is the, probably the best angle on it. As is often the case, the rear three quarter yeah. on the bump yeah. is, is, a, is probably the best view. Yeah, I like the... <laughs> angle of the so. exhaust and I like how they've gone back to the hexagon shape sort of thing. Yeah. Here is the owner. Here he is. Looks pretty nice I think. <laughs> <laughs> how much you set you back? <laughs> no, I, I love this car you know. I, yeah. like, I think <clears throat> out of all the cars now it's like the one that's like really, for me it's the one that's changed where the goalpost is because the SF90, I had the SVJ, it's cool, fast, rapid, SF90 cool, fast, rapid but this is just like completely you prefer Different. this to the SF90? Yeah, yeah, any day of the week. It's more comfortable, it feels faster. Um, it's easier to use, like the steering wheel on the SF90 is not that great. Um, and also it's a V12, so it makes noise. Yeah. Whereas this doesn't make noise. No. Is but it the same as the 296? The like steering wheel and everything yeah, like that? Every, the interior is pretty much the exact same. Yeah, you was having a bit of an issue with the steering wheel. It, you weren't gelling with it, with the one that you were on given. On the 296? Yeah. yeah, it wasn't a big... I think yeah. there's a software yeah. update that makes yeah. it a little less sensitive, but it is very, like, you have to get used to it. Yeah. And also the little touchpad. Yeah, the touchpad is confusing. I remember yeah. my wife took the SF90 out for a drive, and she was like, I can't use it. She was like, it's not working. It's just not yeah. working. Yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah. It's, so it's, it gets, you have to get used to it. But it's the same with this, but at least you have physical buttons in there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a nice place to be inside of there. But it's very nice. Tommy and I went out for a little drive, as you will have seen. Yeah. Good conversation. Yeah. Um, yeah. And we ended up getting told off at the petrol yeah, station. Yeah, the petrol station. Yeah. For some reason. We was just saying the headroom is perfect. Because yeah. whenever we've been out on track in the SVJ. It's like this, isn't it? You, you, yeah. Yeah. You were Can saying. You put a helmet on in it. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't in the just, SVJ. Yeah, oh, you had to be like, like this, aren't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. You had to sort of like proper go down. And there was one point when we were going around Donington and you was like, Luke, you're going to have to look out for me because I would, I, I cannot turn my head. Yeah. Clear left. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, I'm struggling at the same time. So I'm even still trying to do that. It was like, you get that wind mirror, I'll get this wind mirror and we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll make it work. You don't have race seats in your SVJ, do you? you no, projects. I don't. Yeah, yeah, with race seats, you get a little bit more height because you sit lower, but yeah, they work the worst seats in the world. I had yes. race seats in my Hurricane Performante and it felt like I was sitting, it felt like you're sitting on the road to be yeah, fair. You yeah. pay, like you feel every bump. You pay more for comfort seats yeah. you know, on a spec on a, on yeah. a, on a Hurricane. It's weird people isn't it? But people want the comfort seat. seats. Yeah. Although I say that and with my Strata I got sports seats. So. Did you? Yeah. Oh. They look cool though. Yeah. But I didn't yeah. get the race ones but I got the sport ones. They do okay. look very nice. Yeah. How is the Strata? What's Amazing. Your, yeah. I, I, if, I, if it was here now I'd be yeah, yeah, yeah. No. You, you need to make it. You, yeah, use it on the road. So nice. Yeah, it's such a good car. It's such a good car. Such a usable car. It's my wife's car, but she doesn't drive it. So yeah. I may be getting rid of it. I'm not sure yet. But okay. yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Well, I'm trying to persuade Tom to uh, to get one. I really like them. Uh, if they're going to be used properly. One. It's actually for sale. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Bright orange as well. Bright. Oh, no. oh yeah, orange. <laughs> yeah. Action Man interior, green and orange. Oh, oh is yeah, that actually okay. green? It's, it's like Action Man green, and it it sounds bad, but it looks. You know what? Let, let me show you. Yeah, let's have a picture. We'll pop up a picture of it. <laughs> uh, so Tom and I, when we first arrived, we'd seen the Revuelta, and we were like. Is that Tommy's or not? Because it looked black. Oh, it yeah, looks it, black changes, it changes colour. Yeah, 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 it changes colour. So, Especially in this like overcast. Mm. But when you see it on a sunny day, it yeah, looks gold. When mm. the sun is... Yes. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the reveal video that you did, I was showing Tom yesterday and it looked like an orangey gold yeah. kind of colour. Yeah. The only thing is with purple, brilliant colour, but 
on the GT12, so we got the GT12 yeah. wrapped in like a midnight purple colour. And if in certain lights, if it's too dark like this, it looks black. black yeah, and that's the thing about purple. I love yeah. purple cars, but at night it's a black car. Yeah, it's yeah. very difficult. Yeah. It's very, it's very subtle. The thing is, with the GT12, we wanted it to be like out there oh, and bright. Yeah, it's just... You can put um, there's a stick PPF you can put on it that will make it have flake and oh, brighter. Yes. So yeah, maybe yeah, you should yeah. do that. Because yeah, I was thinking about yeah. doing it with this, but that changed my mind last minute. Yeah, because if you, you want a noisy green. car, yeah. a GT12 is ridiculous. Really? Really? It's kind of on par. Really? It's a different sound, but the volume is outrageous. Isn't oh, any it? tunnel I don't know runs in. Yeah. It got through homologation. <laughs> no, uh, it didn't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's what definitely is, something up. Turbo GT. Different new headlights. Yeah. I miss my. T oh, oh no, that's the turbo. Yeah, yeah, that's it's the not the turbo with the GT pack. Yeah. Oh, okay. You yeah, have the turbo GT. I had the turbo had. GT. Oh, yeah. Have you not got that anymore? No, I sold it. I sold it. I didn't really want to, but my Urus is arriving. I've got my Urus now, but I think I'm going to. Well, I know I'm selling it. It's going up for sale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Urus is cool. It's just too firm. The perfect. We was day. we was going to get the Rev Welto in that color because I'd said to Tom, I was like, oh, look the out for that. Yes. Yes. yes, yeah. So originally we was going to get the Rev Welto in the same color as your Urus. What color yeah. is it again? Viola Mithras. Viola Mithras. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we went to go get it back and there was like three cars from Lamborghini Leeds have already been purple so we were yeah. like we can't do that my my, uh, my dealer told me that when I got my car in Bielema first uh, apparently a lot of people started ordering Bielema first <laughs> yeah. because oh, yeah. no one had ordered because it was a new colour no one had ordered it. yes and I'd never seen yeah. it before on and then anything. when I saw it I was like oh my god yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I'm yeah. not doing that again because everyone's got me Bielema first <laughs> yeah yeah well <laughs> yeah. Trendsetter Trendsetter is well, is well if right. everyone starts doing I can't remember what's this colour Deep Space I, I think it's called Deep Space yeah right. If everyone starts doing deep space, then you'll know. I'll take it off. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll yeah, change yeah. it to something else. Tell them about the problem we've had with the 918 where yeah. they're just oh popping up everywhere. Oh my god. We, yeah, everybody's wrapping it in the same in a orange. similar red yeah, orange. No, I've noticed that now. Yeah. Because yours is the first orange one. I've yeah. noticed a few other ones. Yeah. 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 My, when I get my 918, I'm wrapping it, but it's going to be a colour no one's ever heard. Done before. <laughs> I swear to God, yeah. Tommy, if you come yeah. out with yeah. an orange 918. Like, so, guys, it's my orange 918. <laughs> I've never seen before. Yeah, yeah. I'll put a sticker that says Shamban. I'll be, yeah. <laughs> they're Wamban, I'm Shamban. Yeah. So I'll just copy their ideas. <laughs> oh. I'm going to wrap mine, but my, I think my colour is going to get me a lot of abuse from Porsche fans. But oh, really? Yeah, but I don't care. Oh, not Porsche, gonna say yeah. Yeah. No, I did wrap my Ferrari a Porsche colour, so you know what I'm on. <laughs> yeah, that is on the, is that on the GT2 RS that's over in America? Yeah, the Urban Bamboo. It sure Yes. Yeah. yeah. And that yeah. is supposed to be a hundred thousand dollar paint yes. job as so. well. Yeah, yeah. But I See, thought it looked nice on an SF90. I was like, why not? You're doing it in a much better way because you can take it off if you don't fancy it in a couple of years' time mm. and you've not spent a hundred thousand dollars on <laughs> exactly. paint. Exactly. Mm. There you go. Do you know what a travesty would be? Spend a hundred thousand on paint and then wrapping over it. That would be mad. Because oh. like my Urus, I didn't feel me through it. So I was like, shall I wrap it? And I was like, wait a second, that's the dumbest thing to ever yeah. do. You've got to spend yeah, money yeah. on the paint. Yeah. Yeah, it's too nice of a paint to, to cover to up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think it because. Tom likes sat in PPF in cars and it works so well on a lot of them, but I think on that you really need to see the gloss and you, you need to see all the paint. So. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a, it's a good It really thing. does depend on what, what kind of colour you're doing. It can make a boring colour cool. Like yeah, yeah. PPF yeah. In, but yeah. But, and it depends on like the car this. as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it really depends on the car. What do you think about the X7? Because that is gloss purple underneath. Oh! And then oh! It's been satined. That looks really good. I was looking at that. I thought it was frozen, like because they say frozen. Mm, yeah. Yeah, 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 the frozen. How was the X7? How was how it? Like? It's nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like a, a budget Cullinan, basically. It's uh, that's like my i7 yeah. is like a budget um, Phantom or yeah, uh, yeah, Ghost. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Hey, budget gang. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We wrap cars. We don't spend money on paint, and then we buy fake Rolls Royces. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Tom didn't um, yeah, launch it fast enough, did he set off a little bit later? So yeah, we'll look, a little bit later. yeah, I think it was a little bit a little bit slow. See we've got two videographers now, so we're able to review footage. So Tom's doing the launches and we've reviewed the footage a couple of times and he's just ever so slightly out. So I want to radio him and to just be like, Tom, please just set off a little bit earlier than what you are doing. It's not jumping it. It might look like it's jumping it, but you're not as the, uh, 
on cue as the Rover World Tour in the SF90 arrives. Tommy was just saying that he was upset that he weren't winning in the Ferrari, but then the Rover World Tour is his anyway, so he's still winning technically. But look at how good the cars are. <laughs> at least he's heating up the tyres. Tom needs to do some of that. There we go. Come on. That, that's a, that was a better launch, Tom. Wait, that's... <laughs> I reckon that's faster than the... Uh... I hope so. We need something. We Ooh. need something. <laughs> I can't really see too much, it's very bright. If you want to find out exactly what happened, go check out the car while video and they'll do all the results for you there. It's been a great day again at the Car Wild Drag Strip. Well done, it's such a good car, but the SF90 may or may not have come out on top. Tom started to get better, obviously, as we were getting through the races. Go see what he thinks. Well, as we're walking through the long grass. <laughs> this is We should have just used the path, Tom. Right, anyway, Tom needs a wee, so he's decided his own route. Rush! Yes, how was the race? It was good, it was better than I thought. Like, yep. It was closer than I thought. Yeah? Yeah, the 918 still lost, but it was way closer, especially to the Rev Welter, than I expected. Really? Yeah, yeah. good. Good. SF90 is fast. Oh yeah, it looks very fast. I was trying to sign myself up because you were like, oh, you may have to hop in. I'm like, uh, mm, I, was uh. Doing, I, was, I was doing 180 by the end. The Koenigsegg <laughs> would have done them both. Oh yeah, of course. No problem. Of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just yeah. judging based on how fast they were going in the roll, it would have been no chance. Well, something may be coming up with a very special Rev Walto that he'll uh, be joining the collection soon. We, we may, may we or may not that. be doing that. Uh, Try that out. Yeah. You'll see. Yeah. Anyway, it's been a good day. We've caught up with Tommy who is currently over there finishing his video. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Oh, I'm ready for a wee. Yes, you are. Right. Let's go for a wee. Bye. I remember that now. <laughs> oh. That's what it sounds like for me when you were driving past. Yeah. <laughs> Poor souls. I think my ears are recovering now. Just that, yeah, I can start to hear again. Yeah, because that sounds really awful. But also <laughs> hilarious. You know? Yeah.